Yes, everyone. Welcome back to Flat Cap Bureau Talk. And in this one, I am going to be giving kind of a small sort of rant maybe about uh, maybe all the Twitter sort of things and even pundits on Sky Sports and whatnot, criticizing Atletico and Simeone's style of play. I find it to be actually quite ridiculous. I find it to be a little biased, also maybe even a bit privileged, you could even say, uh, the way that they seem to think that one style of football is better than another. And I figured I kind of have a small little rant about that. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. I apologize if it's a bit all over the place. Uh, I wrote some notes down. I figured, you know, to kind of keep it a bit more organized, but it might be all over the place. Uh, the first point I have to make about why I think it's kind of ridiculous to, you know, slam or, you know, slander Atletico and Simeone style plays that, I mean, let's be honest, there really is no right way or wrong way of playing football. It's really just a matter of perspective. Football is football. There's like no perfect way. It wasn't handed down by the heavens, you know, being told this is the right way to play football. It's just a matter of perspective. And I think it's some people really enjoy a defensive style. Some people really enjoy it all out, you know, offensive style. And it really you just have to find maybe, you know, the, the understanding that there are two styles of play. There are multiple styles of play, I mean, and you just have to accept that there's not one that's better than another, especially considering the circumstances. Um, and while people are entitled to their opinions, I feel like regarding Atletico style play, it doesn't mean that words like disgraceful, shameful are really appropriate because those are the ones that I've kind of seen from people on Twitter. It's, I've even seen words like that from pundits who have been talking about the game, calling their style of play disgraceful, shameful. I find that to be really inappropriate to be honest because again this is just football lads you know this it really is just one person trying to figure out the best sort of way to win a game if that's the way that he sees best fit then that's the way he sees best fit and also i think what's a bit insane is that there's this lack of recognition that atletico fans if atletico fans didn't like the style of play they would make it well clear but diego simeone is a cult hero there for a reason and i will break that down later but again uh using words like disgraceful shameful when talking about atletico style play i just think is way out of line uh football is for everyone and its interpretation is for everyone kind of just ramming home this point here that there really is no right way or wrong way of playing football the way that you look at football the way that you interpret football is completely entitled to you it's your perspective and you are completely entitled to it but the problem is is that it seems like one's interpretation seems to then supersede others or seems to then uh you know be some sort of I don't know, like, you know, again, like contributes to that right way or wrong way of playing. And if you think that your interpretation of football is better than another's, I just find that to be a bit crazy. I think, again, it's just football, you know, to, to look at football better than another person, I think is just a bit naive and also a bit kind of uh, self-obsessed, if you ask me. Uh, this means, again, that there is no right way or wrong way of playing it. And anyone who thinks that there is a right way or wrong way of playing it, I feel like needs to recognize their own biases. Maybe they're just too used to seeing the same styles of football. Maybe they watch only one league. Maybe they're just you know, only watching one team. I really feel like sometimes when people do describe their style as shameful or disgraceful, I just think it's just a lack of perspective and probably lack of experience of watching other football and watching other leagues consistently. Uh, moving on to my other point here, Atletico, everybody, they have taken league titles, cups, everything from the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona. And to do that, I think you wouldn't even care how you could possibly do that. Like whatever works in order to take away titles, cups away from those two big uh, clubs in that league that are just flat track bullies in that league. It's nice to see that Atletico in like the last 10 years have given them a real challenge. And however Diego Simeone achieved that, I think is up to him. And to say that he should have achieved it one way or another is completely naive. And I feel like the way that he did do it is actually quite admirable because he's really let them buy into a system that has proven to be successful. Of course, he won La Liga in 2013-14, won it last year in 2020-21. He won the Copa del Rey in 2012-13. He won the Supercopa de España. Uh, he's won the Europa League in 2011-12. He's run the, won the Europa League in 2017-18. Uh, the UEFA Super Cup, which is you know the that competition be, ch between Champions League winner and Europa League winner uh, in 2012 and 2018. And he also had two Champions League runner-ups or two Champions League semifinal or two Champions League final appearances in the last 10 years with 2013-14. Uh, we remember that one. And then 2015-16. So again, like the way that he's been able to achieve this, I don't care how he achieved it. It's very impressive. And I think we're also overlooking that the way that we're kind of 
criticizing Atletico and Simeone, it's a bit kind of, I don't know, it's it's a bit too much recency bias because you also have to look at how successful they've been with that sort of implementation of a style over this last 10 years. And I'm pretty sure Atletico fans are very happy with how successful they've been in the last 10 years. I'm pretty sure they do not care how it was done. Uh, defensive football, my other point here, can be beautiful. This idea that, like, you know, uh, every team has to attack, every team has to, you know, play, like, Pep Guardiola or like Klopp, I think it's just absurd. I think it's also, again, you know, kind of contributes to that naivete that everyone is able to play like that. I mean, look at the players that they have at their disposal. Look at the price of that Man City team. It's more than a country's GDP. So for us to say like, oh, I let to go should play a bit more like Man City or they should open up and play a bit more, uh, you know, offensive football. I mean, what do you think that's going to do? That's just going to cause a 5 nil, a 6 nil, like Sporting did. I think it's, again, like, do we want them to go out like Sporting did in the first leg and not make it entertaining at all? Or would we rather them try to stay in it for the whole 180 minutes of both legs? I would rather them stay in it. And however they think that's possible, that's what they should go for. And when you do really watch like Man City versus Atletico, you have to like see the beauty, I think, in the organization, the communication, the focus required in order to do that sort of defensive football. It does not look fun, but then that sort of then the beauty in that is that that means these players are buying into it. There's something that Simeone is selling them. There's something that he's telling them that, you know, is motivating them to play that sort of style. And I think that's actually beautiful. I, I really do. I think the fact that you could see 11 players on the pitch be perfectly fine with 28% possession and, you know, taking their moments to maybe, you know, seize the game and uh, maybe kind of take it by the scruff of the neck. I just think it's just beautiful, to be honest. I really do. I find that sort of organization, if you really see how they shift, if you really see how they move with every sort of pass, the way that they pick their moments to attack the ball, I think if you notice sort of things, you would notice that defensive football can be beautiful and also defensive football let's be honest it wins it does win a lot of games and while maybe people want to see you know more exciting football on the television you have to realize that these are managers these are players that want to achieve something as much as it's nice to play aesthetic football i think a lot of players and managers would rather achieve something than play aesthetic football and i think that again contributes to a bit of like the the weird slander towards atletico it's like they're kind of saying they would rather atletico lose more titles or give up more trophies in effort to have more aesthetic football for the everyday fan i think that's a bit ridiculous um but again i'll just kind of ram home this point again i do feel like when you watch portuguese teams when you watch maybe certain teams in italy or spain those really low block defensive teams it actually is impressive and it is beautiful uh, a version of it even was in the Euros with Hungary's 4-4-2. That was one of the most brutal 4-4-2s I've ever seen. It looked impossible for people to penetrate. It looks so every team struggled against that Hungary team. And I think there is a sense of beauty in that, like that you can set up in a certain way and have nowhere near the caliber of players as the other team, but really make life difficult for them. And so to say that that's ugly, to say that that's shameful, disgraceful, I think is completely out of line. My last argument here, apologies, everybody, again, for how long this rant was. Uh, one could argue that Man City style is boring and shameful. So this is what I'm trying to this is uh, I, I know I'm just kind of reading from notes here. But my point here is that while we're slamming Atletico style and saying like, oh, it's shameful, it's disgraceful, it's too negative, all those sort of words. You then look at Man City style and when you actually watch them and I watched them watch 180 minutes of both games, I really was so bored with both teams. Like it wasn't like I was rooting for Man City with, you know, their aesthetic style. Like to be honest, you could make valid criticisms of Man City style and say, you know, with a different perspective that you don't really like watching Man City. And so again, it kind of cuts both ways. Like looking at football, there is no right way or wrong way because because while you could maybe make a convincing argument that Atletico style is negative, you could then make an, a, a convincing style that Pep City's Man City style is negative. Because look at this, I could make arguments, you know, that, you know, what did they actually create versus Atletico? They had 70% possession, but what did they really create? I mean, the chance that they had with De Bruyne, I think that's just a bit of brilliance from Foden and more actually from De Bruyne with that sort of movement. And then as well, you know, with the second leg, like they didn't create anything. Man City. They didn't create anything. So to say that it's like beautiful to watch them just pass around the back the whole time, I, I I don't really think so. And it does seem like, again, if you were to criticize Atletico, you could criticize Man City and say that, you know, they're more a possession for possession sake team. You know, they just want to have the ball the whole time and it makes it so that every other team has to play defensive football against them. There's also that sort of weird thing where not everybody can go toe to toe with Man City and play like Liverpool. If you are to try to do that, it's a 
you're going to get destroyed. And so it's actually more clever that Atletico set up that sort of way to stifle Man City and cause them lots of headaches. And to see that, I think, is far more entertaining to see them get just thrashed 6-0 in the pursuit of more aesthetic football. Uh, and also as well, whenever I watch Man City, they don't take risks. <laughs> they play super calculated. The passes they make into the areas have to be perfect. They can't just do any long ball, you know, into the over the top. They make every pass mean something. And to be honest, it's actually quite boring <laughs> the way that they don't take risks. And then crossing the ball, I feel like the way they cross the ball, since there's no number nine, they're just constantly crossing the ball into five foot eight number tens. <laughs> like, uh, excuse me for the the height slander, but you know what I mean. Like. If you're going to criticize Atletico style, you can criticize Man City style. You can criticize Bayern style. You can criticize Tottenham style. Like there is no right way or wrong way of looking at football. So hopefully you guys disagree with me or agree with me. This is just kind of my little rant. It's been on my mind for like the past like day or two, to be honest. I just really don't understand this sort of, uh, you know, just shamefulness uh, towards Atletico. I really don't. Hopefully you did enjoy this rant. It was supposed to be actually a lot shorter than this, but yeah, I guess I got kind of into it and Apologies for the lack of graphics or anything. Just wanted to talk for a bit. Hopefully you enjoyed. And as always, do hit that like button on your way out. And I will be seeing you 